we have a charge disk which has the total charge Q and the x-axis is the symmetry axis of the disk and the question is what is the potential of any point which lies on the x-axis which is the distance x to the center of the disk so we can think of the disk composed of uh, rings of radi radii running from 0 to small a the small a is the radius of the disk so and we know uh, for each ring of having thickness dr uh, the expression for the potential and we, once we get this uh, potential expression for all the rings we having radii running from 0 to a which has thickness dr then we can integrate to find the total potential so before that let's express the surface charge density of the uh, uh, disk as the total charge divided by the surface area pi I a square and our dqs will be the total charge on these uh, rings having radius r okay so we will express this total charge dq on this ring uh, in terms of the uh, distances and the surface charge density so this dq is the total charge of the ring but the ring uh, covers some area on the disk because it has a finite distance dr a small distance and to find the total charge on the ring what we do is we multiply the surface charge density by the area covered by this ring but the area covered by this ring uh, is this expression the total length of the ring which is 2 pi r if the ring has a radius r times dr and dr is the thickness of the ring so once uh, we fix this expression for dq now we are ready to write down the potential of each ring as dv okay so and let me uh, show it as k times dq um, divided by the distance of the ring the every point of the ring to the uh, point in question that we have to calculate the potential so uh, this is fixed it is uh, in terms of the uh, radius of the ring r square plus x square in square root and we can express also the dq uh, explicitly in terms of r and dr so this is the expression for the potential of all these rings and to find the total potential then we have to integrate this uh, dv from r changing from 0 to small a which is the radius of the disk so let's uh, write this down and here r is the radius of these uh, uh, rings and these are changing from 0 to the total radius of the disk so we got this expression and, and we can take the constants outside and the result is <coughs> k times 2 pi sigma and in squared r squared plus x squared is to be evaluated at r is equal to a and 0 and you can replace even k uh, by 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 so the end result is in terms of the charge density sigma uh, divided by 2 epsilon 0 in parentheses a square plus x square in square root minus x here x is the uh, distance of the uh, point in question to the center of the ring uh, disk and a is the uh, radius of the disk